Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 22nd, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as we had that large solar flash yesterday, it did produce a pretty sizable corona mass ejection. We had another one today, and that was Earth facing. So now two coronal mass ejections are on their way to our planet. Solar storms affecting us 24th into the 25th of January. Amazing images here, 304 angstroms of that large plasma blast. Big filament involved with this eruption. There's yesterday's from Sunspot region turning into view. And then watch right here. Big blast creating a coronal mass ejection, kind of in a southward fashion, but Earth directed. So stay tuned, aware and prepared. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, coronal hole turning away. A little view of what our magnetic field on the sun looks like during a coronal hole, as that was Earth facing for about six days. Amazing images here. We've seen. One M-class solar flare the past 48 hours, and it was right there. Staying mostly in the C-class range throughout the day today. Sunspot region 3961, putting on quite a bit of a show today, throwing about three C-class solar flares. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had to clip out a whole bunch of right there, that little black flash, Solar Dynamics Observatory, they have uh, an eclipse on their SDO equipment. Had to delete a lot of them as it's flashy. Looking at sunspot regions in motion there, and here are all the sunspots right now as we have seven that are Earth facing. 3961, still a major sunspot to watch. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts. Expected from the most recent C-class solar flares. As you can see, about five of them going off today. One M-class solar flare and one M-class yesterday. Solar proton flux slightly rising. Geomagnetic activity down to a KP2. Space Weather Prediction Center showing both CMEs updated here with these models. Again, expected arrival 24th into the 25th late 24th. Two coronal mass ejections heading toward our planet. Geostorm will be in effect January 24th into the 25th. Aurora forecast for tonight and tomorrow is pretty clear right up until this next space weather event. Iswa space prediction spiral showing yesterday's CME and then updated today with today's CME, which was a little bit more northward fashion, but definitely Earth directed. Little yellow circle there is Earth. Lasco 3 is showing a broad spectrum. Cosmic energy is leaving our sun the last two days. They've kind of stitched the missing data which wasn't presented yesterday here with daily events worldwide, but is in there today. There's the most recent coronal mass ejection. Shooting out of our sun on the 22nd of January. And again, I want to thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, please don't forget to do that. YouTube loves to see the love and support in the comment sections and as well the likes. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video. Carrying on here for earthquakes, the last 24 hours we've seen three very deep earthquakes. Fiji Islands region, 539 kilometer depth, 602. And the third one was about a 580 kilometer depth. So still expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow. 5.3 there, Papua New Guinea. 5.1 here, Australian Antarctic Ridge. Also got activity still rocking in the Taiwan region after the 6.2 earthquake the other day. 
4.3 just recently here, most recent, Afghanistan. And these are all yesterday's earthquakes, except for the 4.9 here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Still eerily quiet, South America, into the Cocos Plate. 5.3 magnitude earthquake here, Las Argentinas, Ariatias in Mexico, into the Gulf of California. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. USGS is reporting just over 200 earthquakes the past 24 hours, so still about average. Carrying on here, let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the planet. Largest being the 6.2 earthquake that struck uh, Taiwan just a few days ago. But we've seen some deep activity this week, and it is a little bit concerning, especially with the quiet activity in South America, Central America. It's been a pretty busy week and a few pretty busy days. But it's been eerily quiet up into the Pacific Northeast. So stay tuned, aware and prepared. Minor seismicity building all across the Pacific Northwest United States, a.k.a. Yellowstone and northward. Now let's have a look at satellite imagery overlooking California. Northern California has yet another fire that has broken out this afternoon, already burning 500 hectares. Satellite imagery, you can see the large flames bursting into our atmosphere. Very large fire. Northern California, you can see the burn scars from the last fires just east of there. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Having a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by active wildfires and as well active volcanoes. Mostly volcanoes. This is showing the sulfur dioxide emissions around the world. Still got some nasty air that is spewing out of China. All week long, cold high pressure ridge moving in which is the Siberian polar vortex. Looking around the rest of the world, no new major eruptions, but still, big plumes coming out of Central Africa and Colombia, Peru. Stay tuned, stay aware and prepared. No weather forecast tonight. If you want to check out the most recent weather forecast, see last night's video. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due.